Greetings and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have all new Samsung Galaxy N55 smartphone. And if you have this smartphone, then this video can be a very useful video for you because in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks of this smartphone. So watch till the end and explore some hidden features as well. The first feature is auto call recording. So you can record all your calls without downloading any third party app. You just have to go to your dialer and then click on these three dots and then click on settings. There you will see the option of record calls. Click on this and then enable auto call record. And simply now you can record all your calls without that announcement and without downloading any third party app. The next feature is S panel. So this feature can be used to access your favorite apps efficiently and very quickly. You simply have to swipe to your left from this corner and it will open the S panel. You can also customize this and add your favorite apps in this panel or delete some apps that you don't want and now you can access your S panel by just swiping from the corner to the left. Next feature is very amazing feature and advanced feature as well. Its name is object eraser. Simply open any photo and now if you want to erase any unwanted thing you can simply click on this edit icon and then click on the fifth option. And there you will see the option of object eraser now simply select the object whichever you want to erase and then click on erase it will automatically and very sharply erase that object and make your photo look like perfectly there is another ai feature of cutting out any object from any image let me show you simply open any photo and simply tap and hold it on any object whichever you want to cut out and it will automatically select the object now you can copy it share it or save it as sticker uh, so this feature was also ai powered and you can use it to make any object as a the next feature is split screen now you can use two apps at the same time in a single screen to do that simply open any app and then put it in the recent and then click on the apps icon and there you will see the option of open in split screen view click on this now select another app whichever you want to use now you can use two apps at the same time in a single screen the feature's name is split screen use it to use your phone more efficiently the next feature is floating window this is little similar to split screen but you will have a floating window of any app whichever you want let me show you how you can use it simply open any app put it in recent and tap on the icon there you will see the option of open in pop-up view now it will open a floating window of that certain app you can continue use your phone and also use that particular app in a floating window you can adjust the size of that floating window and you can also drag it and drop it anywhere whichever wherever you want to close it simply tap it on this icon and then drag it and drop it on remove so you can use this feature it is called floating window you can also enable always on display in this smartphone to do that simply go to settings and there you will see the option of lock screen and AOD simply click on this and enable always on display now it will always on your display and show time or whatever you will put on the home screen you can also clone any messenger app and use two different account in a single phone simply go to your settings scroll down and there you will see the option of advanced features click on this again scroll down and there you will see the option of dual messenger it will show all the messenger apps which are installed in your smartphone simply enable this and it will clone the app now you can use two different account in a single phone by using this dual messenger feature to click a screenshot there is a not an option to use your three fingers and scroll down to click a screenshot you can use this gesture you can use your palm and swipe to your left and it will click a screenshot there are other ways by which also you can click a screenshot simply press power button and volume down button at the same time it will click a screenshot in the control panel you will also see an option of screenshot you can also use that to click a screenshot there it is take screenshot click on this and it will click a screenshot so there are three ways by which you can click a screenshot in the smartphone you can also read the deleted messages from any messenger app without downloading any third party app simply go to settings 
and then click on notifications and then click on advanced setting there you will see the option of notification history click on this and it will show all the notifications which have arrived or uh, received in the smartphone it will also show all the messages which has been sent and deleted immediately so that's how you can read all the deleted messenger from whatsapp or any other messenger app you can add a lot of stylish widgets in your home screen as well to do that simply tap and hold it on the home screen and then click on widgets it will show all the cool widgets for example you can add any clock if you want simply click on clock and it will show all the clocks and simply tap and hold it on your favorite one and drag it on the home screen and you can also further customize this simply click on this clock tap and hold it and then click on settings and you will see all the different styles for this clock so there's a lot of ways to customize your home screen by adding widgets and even further editing or customizing those widgets you can add your fingerprint and even your face to unlock your phone and unlock any further apps. You can do that by simply going to settings, scroll down and then click on security and privacy. There you will see the option of biometrics. Click on this. Now you can add your face or fingerprint, whichever you want. And after that, you can unlock your phone by using your fingerprint or face, whichever you want. Now, whenever you will press and hold your power button it will open an app called Bix, bixby and it will not open the power menu to open that simply you can go to your settings scroll down and then click on advanced feature and there you will see the option of side button and then there will there you will see the option of press and hold then click on power off menu now whenever you will press and hold on the power button it will open the power menu instead of that default bixby app if you are the one who struggle with your screen time and your mobile addiction, then you can use the next feature. The feature's name is Digital Wellbeing. Simply tap and hold it on the home screen and then click on widgets. Scroll down there you will see the option of Digital Wellbeing. Then tap and hold it or you can simply click on this and then click on add. It will add it on your home screen. Simply tap on this and it will show all the timing of the apps which you have used throughout the day. You can set a timer as well to monitor your screen time or to control your screen time. You can also use these modes to uh, control your screen time while driving or walking. So you can use this feature to control your screen time and monitor it. The next feature to open any app while double pressing your power button. To do that, simply open your settings. scroll down and then click on advanced features there you will see the option of side button and under top there you will see the option of double press now click on setting now select the app whichever you want to open for example i want to open amazon whenever i will double press the power button so whenever your screen is locked and you double press the power button it will open that specific app you can select any app you can select any command as well for example you can select torch or other apps so use this tool you can also change this three button navigation to gesture navigation simply go to your settings scroll down and then click on display again scroll down and there you will see the option of navigation bar simply click on this and then click on swipe gesture now your phone's navigation has been changed from three button to nav gesture navigation you can go back by swiping from left to right or right to left. You can open recent app by swiping up from the middle and you can close all the apps and come to home screen by just swiping from the middle. So that's how you can change three button navigation to gesture navigation. The features in the camera app has been taken to another level. This gives you the features of flagship smartphone to explore all the features simply go to more and there you will see pro pro video night even hyperlapse and super slow mo mode in the smartphone so you can explore all the features in the more option of the camera app so these were some amazing tips and tricks and hidden features of samsung galaxy m55 5g smartphone if you like this video then drop a comment and subscribe to our channel we'll see you in the next one till then have fun